May 1862, Norfolk and Suffolk had fallen to the federal forces. The Union began eyeing the town of Franklin. If the Federals could capture this railroad town, they would cut off supplies, thereby strangling the Confederate capital at Richmond. Major General John Adams Dix, commander of the Union Department of Virginia, organized a joint Army-Navy operation scheduled for October 3rd, 1862, to destroy the bridge and railway depot at Franklin, Virginia. Lieutenant Commander Charles Flusher agreed to steam three gunboats from the Albemarle Sound up the Chowan River and into the Blackwater, while Major General John J. Peck would send a strike force from Suffolk to meet the gunboats at Franklin. But the Confederates had a surprise of their own. Flusher's flotilla, consisting of the USS Whitehead, the Hunchback, and the Commodore Perry had been spotted downriver and came under heavy musket fire at 7 a.m. on October 3rd when they neared Crumpler's Bluff. Elements of the 4th North Carolina Cavalry and 52nd North Carolina Infantry were positioned along the shoreline and atop the bluff. Even though Commodore Perry and Whitehead ran aground during this action and were peppered with shock, they were able to steam up to Franklin and shell the town. When no Union troops arrived by 10.15 a.m., Flusher thought it was prudent to retreat downriver. It was just in time, as the Confederates had felled trees in the river as obstructions to trap the Union gunboats. Flusher's flotilla was barely able to pass Crumpler's Bluff and made it to Edenton, North Carolina, the next day. The Union shelling of Franklin prompted the civilian evacuation of the town. Jenny Camp Norfleet remembered the scene well. I must tell you of the first time the Federal gunboats came up our river and, and bombarded our little town. When those shells began to fall around our house, there was some jumping out of bed and running. That was one of the most disagreeable happenings. Meanwhile, 1,300 Union troops, commanded by Colonel Samuel P. Spear of the 11th Pennsylvania Cavalry, arrived from Suffolk. After skirmishing across the Blackwater River, the Federals retreated. The Confederates would retain control of Franklin for the rest of the war. The Union repulse at Crumpler's Bluff was due to poor coordination between the Army and Navy. The Federals' failure to destroy Franklin resulted in the town being used as a Confederate supply depot for another year. And it all happened here in Hampton Roads.